Patrick Scott Armstrong here with the Lone Star Plate. I'm headed out to Goldie's Barbecue south of Fort Worth, Texas. They were just named number one on Texas Monthly's top 50 barbecue spots. So we're here to try the food and see just how good it is. All right, guys, how we doing? We're here at uh, Goldie's, made it here early. I actually got here before the sun came up, okay, y'all? So you'll see some of that footage, but um, we're waiting in line, trying to do the whole experience and uh, get some of this fantastic Goldie's barbecue. Look, we're gonna get some uh, interviews with people in line. We're going to uh, get the whole experience of me, you know, buying, buying the barbecue, sitting down and eating it. So I'm really excited to share that with y'all. Sorry if I'm a little, uh, you know, don't have much energy, y'all. Okay, I've been up early. This is a long wait to get barbecue. This is part of the whole process. And let's do this. So we're here in line at Goldie's. First in line, came at what time? What time did you come today? 3.45. 3.45, holy cow. Was that always the plan? Always the plan. <laughs> that, was, that was the only reason we were coming, was yeah. to be first in line. And um, so this is something you kind of do, right? You like to go to barbecue spots and wait, I mean, right? Is that Absolutely. the gist of it? Yeah. Just, just come to take a road trip, come have some good, good food, meet some good people and have a good time. So yeah, this is uh, a mural. So the guy who did it was, uh, his name is P. Lanner Yellow. And he's in this Japanese comic band called P. Lanner Z. Uh, we met him actually when we were in high school or sophomore year, because we were in a band. And we played at a show, we played at um, somewhere in Deep Ellum, The Doors, I think. And they were playing next door at the Profit Bar. And so after we played, we went to go watch them. And that's when we first met him. And then when we moved to Austin, we went to their show in Austin at Mohawk. Yeah. And um, what else? And then we, he lived in Austin. He did work for like Facebook, Google, and all, oh, Eastside King and all that. Oh, wow. oh Eastside uh, King, that dude, it definitely has yeah, that he, sort of, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. And, uh, and uh, yeah, we met him and he did a mural at our house, the house we were living in. Oh, and I got really? a tattoo of it. Oh, if you shit, see it right no here. shit. He that's, did that? Yeah, he did that. And then you tattooed it. Yeah, yeah. And, that's and it was a mirror at our house. Recent. Yeah, it, it was uh, four, three or four years ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Damn, whoever did it. really good. Yeah, whoever did it. I forgot I was drunk when I, did, when I got it. <laughs> but um, it. yeah, so he came. Wow. We hired him to do this mural and that one over there. And it's just a cow with Goldie's Barbecue. Yeah. What, uh, what are some of the other favorite barbecue spots you like to go to here in Texas? Truth. Burnt Bean, 2M, um, Interstellar was great. Yeah. Um, there's just so many of them. <laughs> Snows, Franklin's, Cadillac, Brett's Backyard. Look at this. Um, Hell yeah. We can, we can keep going. <laughs> what's the best line you've been in? What, what's your favorite like barbecue line to be in? Franklin's and Snows. Franklin's and Snows. Is it just like the camaraderie of everybody? That is that really the deal of it or what? The camaraderie, the people, the stories, the hospitality of, of the, the, the restaurants themselves. Carrie at Snows. Um, just just that whole scenario of being around other people that are in line with you and there for the same reason. Totally, totally. No, that's awesome. People will wait in line right where the mural is and then they'll go all oh, the way okay. to the street. I see. Um, and this, this is where they will order. So you order with the cutter first, order all your meats, and then you move down to sides right here, and then you'll cash out with me. I usually run the register. So you cash out with me, buy your merch and whatnot. Buy and your then, merch, I'll pay like, you, you get it, right? Yeah. You, like, okay, you want to have with that? Yeah. <laughs> and then this is where they dine. So we got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight tables. Yeah, we took one out. Yeah, and um, holds up like six chairs per table. And so it's kind of like you can sit on your own or you commute. Um, and you people, have to, right? Yeah. yeah. But people, when they make friends in line, they're usually eating together. That's now. awesome. So, yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is so cool, dude. And uh, yeah, this is the dining room. How, how, what, are the, what do you think is the majority of people that actually eat it here or versus take it? Oh, man. That's it's tough, right? Take, take it. So ever since the list dropped, our to-go orders have been way more than dining in. Really? Yeah, so okay. we thought it was going to be packed in That's here insane, yeah. and packed outside, but it's to-go, to-go. It's like, right now it's like 60% to-go, 40% here. Wow. And that backs us up 
a lot. How does a to-go work for people that are in line? They have to wait in line, and then they'll just go up there and say, and say I want this to go. to go. Yeah, yeah. I got it. What, um, like, what about Goldie's have you heard that's like so good about it? Is it literally just people like, oh, it's good barbecue, go try it? Or are they specifically telling you something about it? Their story and, and the food in itself, they said there's, there's nothing bad about the food. The food, ribs, sausage, whatever you get is good. Gotcha. Because that is something typical, right, of barbecue. So I was like, well, the brisket here and go get the sausage here and go get, right? Is that sort of how that works a lot of times? Yeah, yeah like you pick your spot, but they said everything is good here. Wow, that's everything. awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. So you're just excited to try everything. There's nothing in particular. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to try everything. Yeah. <laughs> Everything. Even the turkey even after even Thanksgiving? Turkey. Well, you don't care. We're only going to be able to, well, we're only going to come here once. Okay, so good point. got to try everything. So yeah. We're like, oh, hey, how's the turkey? Oh, well, I don't know. I didn't get it. <laughs> that way, if I get That'll be me. a bus on the way home, I, I did it. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. If I don't get to come back. <laughs> so the top 10 that came out, or let, you know, this top 50 that came out and the top 10, how many of those have you tried? After I finish Goldie's today, that'll finish the top ten on this. Oh, really? This is yeah. the the okay. I've, I've been to, wow. I've been, been to all of them. Okay, I'm right on. Holy shit! And then we got the kitchen. Thank you. We got the counter service here. So, like I said, it's small. We only could do so much. Yeah. And so, like, we have a steam table that we set aside right here that only holds up to four like hot yeah. sides. Yeah, yeah. And we got our low boy here that holds like one, two, three. Four, Five, like four cold sides and whatnot. Um, and this is our Alto Sham. This is also super important right here. Man. Oh, yeah, the scale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this is our Alto Sham. Oh, the fucking. Uh, I warmer. worked at uh, Laurel for a while. Oh, you did? Yeah, we have fucking 80, 80 of these things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. God damn it. And look here, he, he was a fan of the Lone Star plate. I didn't, look, I didn't, he it's, just, it's, that's legit, okay? We didn't set that up. He had already seen the show, and yeah. um, that was very cool to know uh the worst we're, we're, our message is getting out there y'all that's valid you know that's awesome yeah no that's so cool um uh look I, there's already cars like people starting to show up one after the other here and you can start to see the line uh building and now i'm more glad than ever to be number two <laughs> right because at first i was like well does it is it really matter it matters yeah. right it, it, it matters and y'all be first ones which is that's really cool that is really cool and this is the pit room it's a little discombobulated here, but it's okay. <laughs> well, we also... We also, faults, yeah. No, 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 no. We've we moved shit around <laughs> yeah. and whatnot. Uh, we just yeah. did a, a little podcast thing, so yeah. it yeah. makes sense. What, but, what is this thing here? So so this building used to be a barbecue restaurant before we took over okay. in the 70s. Uh, it was ran by this guy named Kenneth, but he passed away oh, uh, recently. And so a new owner took over, and that's when we're, we're like leasing out from yeah. him. But originally, Kenneth built this, and this is how this is where he was cooking his briskets and all really? that. Really? Yeah, yeah. So wow. it usually be a, it's a brick pit. We haven't used it yet. We don't have, really have a purpose for it. Sure. Um, but it's just cool to show people. Absolutely. Well, it's yeah. history here too, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. I mean, yeah, he built this shit. Holy yeah. Fuck. And he built the kitchen. He built on too. Oh, like, really? Originally, this was like a home, mobile home. Oh, no and so shit. he built on. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that is. That's... Are you guys eating the food here today, or are you yeah. taking it? I'm eating everything <laughs> I can get my hands on. <laughs> we, I mean, we waited this long, long. We waited well, the hotel. <laughs> when I when I interviewed Nupon, he said um, actually recently that most of the orders have been to go. Really? Yeah, the majority of the orders are to go. Now they come. They wait in line. But they take it. Right? They're not sitting here to eat it. That's part of the I experience. thought that was it. Yeah. That's that's that, that, right? I mean, yeah. is eating inside the restaurant. I agree. And seeing everybody's reaction when they get that first initial. Yeah. 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 Not taking it home and, and they so probably, you know. Watching everybody in line. Just sure. Just jealous of you eating your barbecue. Totally. Is that what you all are going to do? Walk by the line with your barbecue? <laughs> like, you know, in, in restaurants, there's a thing they teach waiters to do, like when you're carrying food on the tray, to not just go directly to your table. Walk by a few other tables. Let them get a whiff of that. You know what I mean? Just kind of like. Show it off. Get, Show so if you're off. eating out next time and you're like, why did that guy just come by? That's why. He's trying to get you to be like, oh, shit, what's that? Let me get some of that. Right. You know? So maybe that'll happen here. Uh, yeah, I guess. You know what? I may. You know what, Vic? We may just get some barbecue and, and hand out some some samples here today. You just mm -hmm. gave me a great idea. That's what I'm talking that's, about. That's what we'll do. Yeah. 
That's yeah. what we'll do. That'll make some people happy. Well, I mean, like, even is that other parking lot over there? Oh, so that's our neighbors. Yeah. So we, we made a deal with our neighbors where we paid them weekly to let people park on their lot. So, yeah, we got they, that. Are they cool with that? They're yeah, they're like, super cool with it. They love money. it. Yeah. They're right next to the best barbecue spot yeah. in Texas. <laughs> Holy shit. And they get, they get, they get basically a free money. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They don't have it's to like nothing. a couple hundred dollars a week. Dude, that's so, fucking solid. Yeah, so it's a good deal for both of us. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, y'all had to add more parking, right? Yeah, we, no yeah, way. there was no, it, it got dangerous. The first day people were parking on the street. Holy and, shit. And like walking on the street and the police had to come and like, <laughs> no barbecue's worth this. <laughs> <laughs> they said that? Yeah, no barbecue's no, worth no. it. Yeah. <laughs> No barbecues worth your yeah. life. Yeah. Die on the side of the road. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Someone's like, it is, have you tried it yet, officer? Like, yeah. That's hilarious. Wow, man. Well, yeah. you know, much congrats, man. Y'all, this is so well deserved. Thank and, you. you. Know, y'all are getting what you, what you need. Honestly, the place looks really amazing. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy for y'all. Thanks, Patrick. This is just so awesome, man. Um, Thanks, man. Y'all have like a lease for a while. Like this is going to be the spot. Yeah, thing, for. Like, we have the option to keep it for 15 years. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. That's solid, bro. The is a pint, and then the large is a quart. Awesome. So if you have any questions, they'll walk you through it. Great. But Lane's going to get you cut up, and then once Jalen's ready for you with the size, he's going to scrap. He needs to just go at his pace, and you'll be good to go. Awesome. Cool. Great. You're on it. Oh, we got to pay? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey. For here, sir. Oh, wow. Eat a bit. A little tasty. We're going to do a, a half a pound of uh, brisket, please. We're going to do two links, one house, one jalapeno. After being there before the sun came up and watching the line grow deep into the overnight fashion parking lot to account for the new influx of barbecue eager patrons, of course, I realized before I even had the food, which I was about to devour like a lion starved for days, what the barbecue experience is all about. It's just that, an experience, unlike other styles of food. It's about the people, the camaraderie, the stories, the family time like Jeremy Ward and his nephew Ethan, which made the experience all the more worth it. And of course, all coming to a head with the food. The heavenly brisket, ribs, and homemade bread was worth every minute of my five-hour wait. Even my friend Victor agrees. They definitely deserve Texas Monthly's number one spot for barbecue. But I have to say, with Goldie's, it's more than just the food. It's the whole experience that sets them apart. To learn more about Goldie's, check out the link in the description. I promise you, it's worth it. Check out our full podcast interview with Goldie's on our YouTube channel. We'll put a link in the description and comments. And please leave a like if you like this video. And if you want to see more, please consider subscribing to our channel. As always, thank you for watching. I'm Patrick Scott Armstrong with The Lone Star Plate. We'll see you next time.